Hi everyone, how's it going team here? And um, I just wanted to jump in and play some Surviving Mars. I got my hands uh, early on it. It comes out in five days, I believe, on 15th of March. But, uh, well, here I have a copy to play. Uh, let me, I guess, make the sound a bit quieter because it's a bit too loud. Hey, Renato, how's it going? Uh, so, yeah, this is a new game from Paradox Interactive. It is a Mars-oriented, or I guess Mars-themed survival city builder. So you gotta build your um, colony on Mars and not die a terrible death. And this is what we're gonna be trying out today. Um, easy start. That sounds like a... Good thing. So there's apparently mods as usual. Uh, if you've ever played Paradox games, you know what is it about. They usually have a ton of things going on for games and you can play them for ages. So I guess we're just gonna go for easy start and um, have a look how it works. So I have not played it before. I basically just downloaded it and this is gonna be my first try and fading horribly at pretty much everything. So let's see how that goes. Welcome to Mars. Okay, everyone wishing a draw is impatient. Okay, this is just some lore going on around. Uh, blah, 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 until you make it enough restore. Uh, so, okay, so you have water, oxygen, and power, and enough construction resources. Okay, that's interesting. Let's do that. So, welcome to Mars. Let's designate a landing site for a rocket. So, promising area has already been scanned for resources. Select the rocket from the highlighted icon at the bottom. Okay, so we select where to land. Um, a block, okay. Uh, place, cancel, rotate, zoom in out. Okay, you can use a mouse like this. So there's some resources here, overlaps, deposit. I guess we can just drop it here, right? So let's see. All right, so the middle mouse seems to be rotation. Right click does other stuff. How do I, WSD works, okay, cool. That's my preferred method of scrolling anyway. That game looks very pretty. I mean, for this strategy game, that is very, very pretty. And we got a nice Mars rocket here with some... Pu that is very detailed rocket. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we got our tiny rover here. I already figured out the controls. Yes, uh, permanent buildings are constructed by drones. Open the building menu or B. Select the building and place it on desired location. Suggested building a large solar panel. Okay, so where is my large solar panel? Recharge station, sensor tower. Oh, there's the. Po oh, those, those are the categories. So we got infrastructure, power production, life support, storages. Okay, you know let's go with a large solar panel. And uh, I guess. Okay, you can build. You cannot build it too close. So we are gonna build it somewhere here, I guess. Let's try that. Okay, we got drones. So I guess those tiny things are drones. Yep, and they're gonna be building things. So what is this large one? It's a rover. RC rover, a mobile base for your drones that can be relocated. Okay, cool. Um, hey, Air Burrows, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. Um, so let's see how that goes. Okay, to command the select vehicle, um, I guess let's just move it somewhere there. You can move the vehicles here so that they are in range of the deposits, I guess. Uh, what is this thing? RC Explorer can analyze anomalies found in the surface of Mars. Okay. Is there an anomaly somewhere? Doesn't really seem so. Hey Skinny, how's it going? All right, I don't see any anomalies here, so I'm just gonna wait for, uh, just post it here or whatever. So what do we have to do? Find, uh, okay, found water. Yes, we found water. So what do I need to do to extract it? Water extractor. Okay, I guess I have to build one, right? So I got life support, moxie oxygen tank, water tower, water extractor, there we go. So I guess something like no cable connection. Uh-huh. So build a water extractor, but it needs power, which means we need to build... Oh, I guess the power comes from the solar shields that we're building, or solar panels that we're building. And uh, we probably have to drag those power cables from there, but let's... Can I prioritize this somehow? Oh, because okay, they're digging for metal first. And only then they will be able to build that thing. All right. Uh, thank you for the follow, Skinny. Welcome to the family, I guess. That's a really stupid way to put it. And I never said that before, but hey, there we go. All right. Um, I guess we can move him somewhere here so that he can work on the metals on this side. Um, can we find any anomalies here, actually? I don't really see anything. I wonder, there's, there doesn't seem to be any, like, fog of war or anything like this, right? So you can kind of see everything right away. Suggested building, concrete extractor. Okay. 
We can build a concrete extractor. Where do I get that? I guess in production, right? Yep. So we put that over here, I guess. Um, available. Oh, okay. So you can actually see the available resource on the right side. Okay, let's plop it here. And you can increase, decrease the speed. We don't really need that now. Must be connected to a power consumer. Okay, so now it's time to plug this thing in using the cables, I guess, right? Um, there we go. That's one. And uh, that's the... Uh, that's, is that too far away? Um, blocking objects. Okay. I guess we're going to build another one because, I mean, we need to... What's beeping? I don't like that beeping. What's going on? <laughs> what is... Why are you beeping? You beeping? Since this thing is beeping for whatever reason, why? Okay, you know what? You're just gonna stay there. So we got this thing. We are gonna put the cable... Um, where's my power cables? From here to... Ah, man. Come on. How do I do it properly? Can I, like, chain it? Okay, I can just build it like this. Okay, there we go. Just gonna build this thing. Select a sector to scan. Oh, okay. So I guess that's how I discover things, right? There we go. Okay, chances, concrete, water, minerals, metals. Uh, not minerals, metals. Okay, so let's go for this sector first. Select a tech to research. Okay, this is, I mean, this is definitely a paradox game. <laughs> No question about that. Okay, social. Receive one time grant for one... Uh, bi this 1,000 million. That's called one billion. Why is it 1,000 millions? Okay, that's a weird way to put it, but okay. Probes are cheaper and can dip scan. Uh, generate hundreds research per soul for each RC Explorer vehicle. Apartments, a residential building that houses many colonists. And we got farm, produces foods. The question is, what do we want? I mean, we have 300 research points, which is not enough. So I guess we would go for the Explorer AI first, right? This way, we're going to have way more um, research points, which will allow us to expand faster, right? Okay, close this. Um, yeah, we already did that. We don't need to scan more. So I guess we can try to increase the speed. Let me see. Plus, plus. Aha, okay, you can just do it with the mouse over here. So this lacks metals. We got enough machine parts. This thing is up now. So the batteries are now not doing anything. And uh, okay, this is now working, right? Yep, this looks good. We got concrete production. Cool. Um, I guess we can just make it a normal speed. Drones will stockpile all kinds of resources into a universal deposit. Consider placing a depot near each of your outposts. You can construct a depot. Okay, so let's place a depot. Is that in production? Um, no, it doesn't seem so. Life so storages. There we go. Metal universal depot. Okay, so we can start with a universal depot. I mean, we don't really... I guess I can just plop it somewhere here, maybe. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so this guy is just waiting. This guy is just waiting as well. There anything is this still scanning? How long will it take? Okay, 11%. Okay, that's a long time to scan this stuff. Can I just go there myself? Like, will that be faster? That's a very good question. So, if I just send it somewhere here, for example, right? Building's not working. Why is it not working? Uh, because there's no power during the night. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so, we need something that will. Oop, no, 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 you go right side. So we need something that will generate power during the night as well. What do we have here? We have wind turbine. Um, this question, will it actually work here? Is there any... Is it just works unconditionally? I think so. Okay. Let's just place one here. And uh, place one over here. Then we use the power cables to connect it. And this seems to be connected, right? So we just do it this way. There you go, where's my explorer thing? Your extractors produce waste rock as a byproduct. Oh my god, this is definitely a paradox game. <laughs> waste rock can be stored in a dumping sites or disposed around the extractors. Extractors will temporarily stop working when there's not enough drones to carry out the waste rock. Okay, 
So I guess it makes sense to build a dumping site, right? And this is gonna be storage, dumping site, there we go. Um, let's plop it somewhere here as well, I guess, why not? That's very eco-friendly, humans as, gen as typically goes, you know, like, yeah, let's just make a dumping site and dump crap in there. Okay, doesn't seem like you can actually explore anything by rolling around and pin rename explorers. You can even name your vehicles. That's kind of crazy. Okay. You can also salvage them. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Uh, so what do we have here? Um, it's obviously midnight, so we don't really have much going on. Let's speed up the game. Right. The drones keep building stuff. So you just, yeah, you just come here. Suggest a building drone hub. Wait a second. Um, let's go like this. Uh, drone hub is a stationary command center that can control dro uh, more drones than the RC rover. Uh huh. We do need that. So where do I get that drones? Uh, basic? No, this is dome education and research. Okay, so those are more the colony services already. Drone hub. There we go. Um, where, where can I build it? Maybe right here. And it looks like we also need it to connect it to the power. So I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. Right, let's speed this up and uh, okay, so the sun goes up in a few seconds and our building should start working. There we go, so the sun solar panels are up. There we go, the drone hub is working now, so we need to finish those wind turbines, otherwise we won't have enough uh, wind basically or enough power during the night and all our infrastructure will just stop functioning, which is suboptimal, right? So we don't really want that. Okay, what else can we build? Let's see. We can produce metals extractor. We don't really have any metals yet, right? So we didn't find anything. There is only water and concrete in our space here. This is still not scanned 38%. That will take ages to scan. Okay, um, let's see. So what can we build? We can build oxygen tank. Uh, Moxie produces oxygen. No production during dust storms. Uh, consumes two power into what is that thing? Metals. Okay, let's turn metals into oxygen. Yeah, that's interesting. Why did you stop? Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. That wait, 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 wait. So the shades actually affect the, and this is a very bad place to build those things. So the shade directly affects the solar panels, which is, I guess, a small detail, but very neat one. And Placing a solar panel here was a very bad decision. Okay, um, so we need to rebuild that. So basically the shadow comes like around here, right? So we need to place the solar panels somewhere here. And then we need to place the wind turbine in a way that won't actually cover the solar panel during the day. Or preferably never. So I guess I'm gonna just plop it here, right? Um, we're gonna use the power cables to connect to this. And to, okay, I cannot do that yet. So we are gonna, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna wait before destroying this one. So once they finish building this thing. Oh, I actually should build a second wind turbine somewhere here, I guess. Okay, this is, yeah, this is definitely tricky. Like you cannot just build stuff without thinking. That won't work. Which is great, I do like stuff like this. Okay, we are get, getting our landfill. Um, that might not be an optimal position for the... No, it's okay, okay. So the sun sets quite uh, faster than the shadow of the uh, rock actually gets here. Okay, sensor tower. Um, sensor tower significantly boosts your scanning speed. Where were you before that, God damn it! Uh, so we do need the sensor tower. Preferably multiple of them. So I'm gonna build them somewhere here, I guess. So we have to be efficient as well because I wanna pull like a lot of cables around, right? One here and uh, I guess we can put in one over here too, right? Okay, so we build that, we can blow this thing up and then we need to connect the power cables to the vent turbine over here. We, for some reason, didn't do... Oh yeah, right, because I didn't deconstruct this thing. There we go. And uh, is that connected now? It seems to be connected, right? It's connected, and what about this? And now, okay, they seem to be connected. So if you place buildings right next to each other, they are magically connected by the power, right? Okay, come on drones, build the connection faster. Okay, we got two, why is this wind turbine not working? 
Okay, now it does. Uh, 5.5 power per hour, which seems to be okay. 9% elevation boost. So this doesn't seem like there's any non-windy times, I guess, uh, because I don't see any weather indication or anything like this. Resupply, research, colony overview. Okay, it's always nice to have metrics like this. Milestones, radio, what is radio? Oh, oh, you can actually pick music. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, you know what? I'm no, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Free Earth Radio. Okay, official Mars channel. That sounds like a station to listen to. Right. Why is there no power on this building? Now there is. Okay, good. So we're rolling. This is working. This doesn't have power, but it said it was connected for whatever reason. So I guess we have to explicitly connect it. Okay. Um. Is there just not enough power for both buildings? Is that how it works? So insufficient power. It needs five power. This one probably needs two. Okay, so there's just ins uh, that was unnecessary. Describe that. So we need a bit more wind turbines, I guess, because it was just purely insufficient power for two buildings. So I'm gonna build a second one over here as well, I guess like this. That should provide sufficient power for those uh, sensor towers, right? And what about our scanning? It's 72%. I really hope they boost the scanning significantly because otherwise it will take ages to finish. Okay, let's speed up. So this music is actually pretty good. <laughs> the Mars, the guys from Mars know how to run a radio station. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that there is not enough power. So there will be definitely... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oxygen can be extracted from the atmosphere by Moxie, since it's a crucial for survival. Okay, so we need the oxygen thing, finally. Um, at least it's said so. I guess it made sense to build it in the very beginning, but uh, you know what? Okay, um, where do we place it? I guess somewhere here? It doesn't seem like it needs any resources, right? So it just depends on the metals and power. All right, and plop it here. Maybe it makes sense to build one unified power grid so that the uh, power is actually shared. Problem is, so connect this. And can't really do that. So I'm gonna go around that, right? Like this, and then connect here. It doesn't mean we cannot build any more in these spaces, but uh, the drones can still go sector over scan. that. <gasps> sector scan. Okay, we found. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the music is a bit too high. Let me tweak that. I was afraid that it might be the case. Is that better now? Okay, game. Let's see. The sectors... Uh, what? Game. Why are you doing this to me? Are you frozen? What is going on? Um, Sorry, what? I think... I think alt tabbing of the game broke it for a second. Maybe that was the OBS fault, but... Oh, no. Okay, uh, that doesn't seem to affect anything. God damn it. Um, <laughs> Jesus, I think I think I broke the game. Um, all right, let me try to restart. The, uh, maybe, okay, let me try to maybe do this. Is that... Uh, that doesn't seem to help. Okay, yep, I definitely broke the game. Let me try to restart it and hope there was an autosave at some point because this is... Uh, yeah, okay, that was not very nice. I mean, it is a pre-release uh, pre version, so that's very much expected uh, that there might be some minor bugs here and there. And no, we don't actually have a... God damn it. Okay, so we have to start over. Let's try this again, but well, at least this time I know quite much more about what I have to do, right? So... Is the music levels okay now? All right, let's plop the rocket here. So let me see. So we got water. Oh, we know this time around we have a g actually better, uh, better resource nodes around us. That's great. Um, all right, so let's try this again. So plop it down here. While it's plopping, we are going to build a couple solar panels. Solar panels has to be unobstructed, right? I'm gonna build it somewhere here, and maybe we'll build one over here. Gonna build a couple of wind turbines, uh, also in a preferably in a way that won't obstruct the solar panels, actually. So here, and this is super inefficient building, but whatever. Right, yeah, yeah, I already saw that. Uh, so for right away, start the exploration. Uh, 
I guess let's start the one the next to us. Found water, yes, we did that. So we started the exploration. Uh, we need to start the research. Wait a second, that looks like different research actually. Do you have a randomized research every time? Oxygen production increased by 50%. Rockets and shuttles require less fuel. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones and wind turbines upgrade. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a different different technology tree. Like, how does it work? Do you have like a fractions or something? Okay, I'm, I'm really curious now. Probably there's some like fractions or something. Okay, research provided by sponsor, I guess. Let's go for the vent turbines. All right. Um, so we did all of that. We got the power nodes plopped. We need to build drone hub, right? I can actually build that. Um, yet so we need to build concrete extractor right so what's the most efficient point to build that used to be like this and we need a water extractor um ta -da 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 -da. where's the water extractor there it is so it doesn't seem to matter how much like how exactly you place it as long as it within the range right yep okay gonna place it like this all right um oh right i'm paused i was like why is nothing happening uh, Okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me this. I was like, I was hoping I tweaked it okay, but it's sometimes really hard to say what the hell's going on. All right, so we have that. We have the drones going. So I guess uh, we also need Moxie. But before that, we need to build the drone hub. There we go. So drone hub somewhere here, I guess. And we need to start building the power grid. So we got our power cables. We need to connect them to everything essentially right so you're gonna connect to here you're gonna connect to here um i guess it would make sense to connect nah, 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 nah. like this maybe yeah there you go okay i hope that does makes the chain basically because i want to have one unified power grid and maybe it makes sense to build another concrete extractor over here um there we go is this not a oh there's some blocking stuff okay uh Sets. Can I rotate it somehow? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. You can rotate it. That is not efficient. Can I maybe place it diagonally? 147, 140, 159. Okay, that's that seems to be the best way to place it. All right, let's do this. Okay, cables. Uh, let's do this and then let's connect this here. And that looks fine, right? So we got all of that. Next, next thing we need to build is this Moxie thing. Oh, we also need the, what was the name of them? The, the scanning sensor towers, right? Because we want to scan the things quick, not wait for half an hour. Okay, I guess I'll just plop it maybe next to this wind turbine. I don't know, will that actually block anything? So I'm gonna, I want two of them because this is, I want scanning faster, right? Okay, let's increase the speed here. Radio with Pana Maskelin, your first radio host choice with the best radio voice. So there are literally radio hosts here. Okay, that's like some GTA level of stuff. I'm fine with that. Okay, um, we needed the Moxie thing. Okay, plop it. Where do we plop it? We can. Okay, this is the power, solar power. So we don't want to plop it there. I guess we can just plop it somewhere in the middle, right? So like this. And uh, then we need to connect it to the power. There we go. All right, we're doing things. So this thing is not powered yet. There we go. There's the power coming in. What the hell is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. What the hell was that? All right, we need the universal depot as well. So let me slow down that. I think there was a meteor shower or something. So there's basically hazards that can screw you up. Okay, that's not very encouraging but uh fine so universal depot right we also needed the dump site somewhere i guess we're gonna plop it here what is, um what do you not like must be connected to a power consumer you are okay not yet connected because some things are not finished okay let's spit up all right we're doing things so we build this thing build this thing dumping sites um, what about the resource caps? Building not working. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. We just need some power. All right. Let's see what else can we... Can we build something other? 
Okay, we got the water extractor, we got the moisture evaporator. It uses water from atmosphere, okay. Water tower, stores water, okay. Yeah, okay, so it's like hydroponic farms and then you have to pipe water to them, oh my god. All right, um, so basic dome, a small dome suitable for early days of the colony, I guess. Once we set up all of this stuff, we should start building domes for people, right? Um, that seems to be, we already did all of that, I think. Air product, water production, so the next step should be, okay, we did the air production. Too early to place a dome. Uh, okay, so first we have to build up the water and um, oxygen supplies. And once we've done that, we can build a dome. All right, one of our towers is now running. This thing doesn't have enough power. Uh, this thing is, what do you know, not, must be connected to an oxygen consumer, okay. Where is oxygen consumer? So we got the moxie and there's oxygen tank. So I guess we can just, can we just plug it in like this? Probably that will work, right? Okay, um, it seems like there is no connection through this. So we need to do the power cables from, yes, from, oh, there's another one. How did I miss that? There we go. Okay, what is this? Anomaly, all right. Where's our RC Explorer? Okay, first of all, let's explore another sector, I guess, to the left of us. Let's see what's there. Got Anomaly, we got... Uh, it actually produces resources once you finish scanning. That's interesting. All right. So, where is our RC rover? There we go. You go scan this thing. I guess they will take some time, right? Yeah, okay. And it also requires battery power, so if you're are there for too long, you will basically be screwed, which you don't really want to have, want to do, okay. All right, um, orbital probe, drone hub, okay, so those guys are, I guess maybe we can just move them and sort of separate their areas of responsibility, like this. That seems to be a good idea. Okay, so we seem to be good on, on power right now, um, even though we have only one wind turbine working, which is weird. Scan of the okay, anomaly analyzed. Find anything unusual. Ah, come on. Really, you give me an anomaly and then there's like nothing in there? <laughs> That's really disappointing, game. You could have given me something better in tutorial. Okay, um, so I guess I have to still connect them. It doesn't look like if you place them next to each other, they will work. So, pipes. Um, connected to a building. Would you like to meet up sometime? Maybe have a glass of wine and a donor? I feel we could talk and talk and talk for hours and hours and hours. But be safe. You know how to reach me. It is soon Friday again. You know date night. Mark. Cool. Ah, uh, well, it's time for another song. Okay, then. So there's even like chit chat and listeners emails or messages whatever on this radio this is kind of crazy okay scan the anomaly right got another sector scan i guess we didn't find anything good in there so let's continue scanning around us building those two scanning towers did increase the speed significantly so we don't we don't have to wait for like half an hour anymore which is great so this drone thing okay it's quite quite the radius here all right it's good. So we got those guys. They're working here. We got these guys. Um, this is RC. No, it's a transport. Why is it there? Okay. Well, I thought I had another one with drones. The RC rover, right? No, looks like I didn't actually. Okay. Well, um, I guess you can go maybe closer to the center then to handle more of these things. So we seem to be okay. Priority is set from the info panel on individual building and constructions. Drone will try to complete car priority task before lower. Pro okay, so you can prioritize things. How do I do that? Uh, change. Okay, there we go. So this is going to be higher priority. We don't want to salvage that. Uh, I, I mean, they don't really have anything else to do. Why not you building this thing? Can you just like do this? Drones. Okay, can you? Can you can you do this thing, please? Is there not enough concrete or something? So we to expand those things. Request maintenance, power consumption. 
What is this? Uh, the condition of building deteriorates over time. Martian dust and disasters contribute to deterioration of outside buildings. Oh my god. Okay, so basically that means that if you don't watch over your buildings, they will fall apart and you're gonna be screwed. Um, that's not very encouraging. But okay, let us... Uh, no, no, no. Let's scan another one. I guess something like here. There's literally nothing next to us, which is again disappointing. I want to find some cool anomaly and uh, build it. Okay, what is this thing and why is it complained? Water extractor and we need to store water somewhere. So water tower and I guess we have to connect it. So how does it... The outlets are left, right. Um, I guess we can just do it like this right so you have to connect it for whatever reason anyway if you place them even right next to each other um what no that's doesn't seem to be correct no that is seems seems to be correct but it doesn't like here it visually connects here not is that expected all right there we go our drones finally finished this thing so let's see if they can build this one we do seem to be quite low on resources so maybe it makes sense to send drones here to dig this uh bit of rocks I don't know if they can actually do that. Can you do that? Let's see if they will do that. All right. It's a pretty chill music for this game. I'm I'm so far digging it. Okay, I did scan the anomaly. Launch a rocket from Mars. Construct a dome. Okay. But to construct a dome, we need enough uh, water, right? Um, where's our resources list actually? Maybe here. So power surplus, oxygen, water surplus. Okay, so two, three. Let's see. If we build a dome, how much will it eat? Okay, it just consumes one of each. So we should be good. Okay, that is... That thing is huge. All right. And it requires, I guess, power and water connection. So I guess it makes more sense to build it somewhere here. Select the sector to scan. Um, pause it. So plop the dome there. Right, now we need to connect the power to it. I imagine that's not going to be enough power for everything. And now we need to connect the life support, right? So let's connect it to the water tower. Right, and scan. That is a lot of resources, actually, just from scanning. Okay, so it's it definitely is worth scanning for more stuff. But yeah, it does take some time. All right. So let us build this dome. And see how that... But like, this game is just really gorgeous looking. Really gorgeous looking city builder about... Desolate Mars, essentially, man. All right. So we got... I think we got all the basics going, right? Uh, power shortage. Okay, so we need more power producing things. So what do we have? Can we build something better? Um, uh, no, what am I... No, you just, just stay there. Okay, uh, where's my power supply? So we can build a... Turling generator. While close, the generator is protected from dust but produces less power. Uh huh. Okay, I guess we can build that thing maybe? I don't know if that's. How much does it produce actually? Wait a second. Is there a notification? 10. Okay, so that's like twice as much. But it is quite high maintenance and requires polymers for maintenance, right? Okay, so we finished the research. Now we can assign another one. First of all, let's assign the research. Oh, so now we have actually way more powerful wind turbines. So we can just build more of those because they are cheaper, right? Sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. Well, I'll take that. That sounds amazing. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to plop more wind turbines. Um, so one here. Let's just make a wind turbine farms over here. One here. Is that filled already? No, it's not filled. This is not filled either, so we're good on this front. All right. I mean, so far it's going pretty well um, this time around. We are not terribly dying. We are building our first dome. All the infrastructure seems to be ready for it. We have enough water and oxygen. We have enough power. Uh, we probably should build the power accumulators. Because we do produce quite a lot of power. Um, and we can scan another sector. There are no anomalies or anything found. So let's just keep scanning around us. In hopes of finding some really cool alien anomaly and learning alien technology. Because I am pretty sure there is something like this in this game. I mean, come on. It's paradox we're talking about. They are pretty crazy about this kind of stuff. Okay. Mm, milestones. 
Launch a rocket. Construct a dome. So we are gonna do that. I guess right now we don't have any humans here, right? Because it's all just drones. So once, once we build a dome, the humans will come. Or maybe I will have to build something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I already seen that. Sector scanned. So this is scanning. This is like 40%. Yeah, that's like with two um, sensor towers is way faster to actually scan the stuff around and without them it was like taking ages okay we're lacking power again why that's interesting oh because they are not connected bloody hell um where's my power cables connected here i guess um and i guess we should connect this one too because it's like you place them next to each other they should be connected right but that doesn't make them it seems for whatever reason all right yeah so during the day the solar panels are actually way more efficient than the wind turbines all right let's explore further i no, you know what oh you can actually schedule god damn it why was <laughs> i was just doing it manually all this time well, i could have just scheduled it okay that makes more sense that is way nicer all right there we go the power is now running we probably now have a nice surplus yeah so and with the uh, solar panels running, we should be fine. Okay, a cargo rocket can deliver additional supplies for the colony. For example, advanced resources such as polymers, machine parts, and electronics. Open resupply UI and... Uh, okay, so this is the resupply UI. Okay, select a cargo rocket and load the desired payloads. Uh, Alright, anyway, so you have a significant travel time. You can buy it for money. Okay, cargo rocket. But we don't really need any of that, right? I mean, we're we're kind of good right now. So, like orbital, those things are expensive. All right. No, I'm good. I'm good. So we're gonna finish that dome, and we're gonna buy some some people. <laughs> gonna buy a rocket with people. I'm still like, I'm not sure. So we have zero colonists, but there's already a radio on Mars. I'm not sure how that works, but <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, I guess you can come closer, maybe help building this thing. So how's our stockpiles looking? That looks fine. We have some polymers and electronics and machine parts. That's all good. So the waste rock, can I do something to this waste rock? Mm, that's a good question. Is there a way to convert it to something useful? Uh, consumption power, maintenance. Okay, no, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Yeah, I guess... Should, let's just plop one of those. I mean, it doesn't seem to... Okay, it does require a lot of polymers and electronics, so it might not be worth it. Um, okay, there is literally nothing here as well, so let's scan all around us, I guess. Oh, can I schedule more scanning? Yeah, I can. So you can schedule five at max, right? Okay. RC transport, RC explorer. Yeah, this RC transport carry resources at long range and gather resources from surface deposits. I don't really have any surface deposits to gather from right now. What can I do with this rocket? I can launch it. But I need fuel first. There's a manual mode, allow for bit experts. Okay, so I can actually send rocket back to Earth to sell stuff, I guess, right? How's this look? So we need more concretes, okay. Finally, autosave, I guess. Wait, can we configure autosave uh, interval in the in the menu? Because, okay, that was just on. Because this, this took quite a while to autosave and the last game was basically screwed before it crashed before it autosaved. Resources are which resources are low. So this this is still fine. This is still fine. This is still fine. What are you talking about, game? What are resources are low? We got 300 research per soul. Uh, water surplus is zero now. So but we're still good. Would be nice to find another water uh, node, I guess. Oh, we got another concrete deposit over here. How did I miss that? So we are gonna build another concrete extractor. 500 that sounds nice and we're gonna connect it to our power network there we go 
Oh, we got an anomaly. Uh, wait a second. Where's my explorer? There we go. Where's the anomaly? You go. Oh, we got a water thing. Okay. Uh, wait a second. No, that's not what I want. Um, God damn it. Where's my explorer? There we go. Okay. You go explore this thing. This is a key. I don't know why it has a key icon. Underground water. So I guess we should build another water thing. So which means we have to take the rover here, right? And then plop the water extractor. There we go. We rotate it this way. And I guess we should build the water tower next to it. And then use the pipes to uh, must be built. Uh, no, wait, no, not this pipes. Connect it like this and then connect it like this. And we also need some power here. So I guess I'll just build a separate power. So like power the, the wind turbine here and maybe the solar panel up here. Um, new tech. Oh, nice. Red planet that meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. All right, even the tiniest, simplest looking rock can contain the answers to mysterious, which perplex the human mind for uh, mysteries, which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe, an encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of existence and into the future. In fact, the following text have been revealed on a research screen. Decommission protocol transport optimization. Okay, where? Oh, so wait. Can I? Oh, I guess I can just skip researching the first ones, right? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have them unlocked, but I don't know if that's worth it. It's like slightly, I guess if you if you basically open one of the more like advanced ones right away, that would be really cool. But I just got unlucky and opened the basic ones. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, so let's connect the power. There we go. I think we're good. So you analyzed everything so you can go back. And we also can actually schedule more um, scanning, right? Okay, not quite, but at least this stuff. All right, how's our dome looking? So we just need three more concrete, two more concrete, and we can start building this thing. And uh, we seem to be pretty good. All right. Um, why are you saying you're not connect? Oh, okay, because the water thing is not done building yet. It needs concrete and machine parts. Where's our transporter thing? Cable fault reported. Cable fault. Wait a second. What? Oh no. So how do I fix that? Losing 4.8 power each hour. Holy crap. Um, and now leaking can be repaired by drones. So how do I force them? Is there a way to force them to repair? I, can, I mean, I can't just break it and rebuild it, right? No, I can't. Oh my god. Okay, that is... Um, all right, that is not very good. Uh, here's the question. So I need more of those RC drone... Far, well, how, how's it called? RC rovers? Yes, because they have drones. And um, my, so this reaches, so it theoretically should repair it at some point. House and education, infirmary, casino. Um, okay, uh, we need factory. So, and for factories, there, there we have polymer, electronics, refinery. Um, user resupply rocket to bring more prefabs from Earth. Okay, so you can either bring the prefab from Earth or research it in a research tree. Okay, I guess let's buy that uh, rocket here. So we're gonna get a cargo rocket. I'm gonna take one rover. I mean, we do have quite a lot of funding actually, so that might be worth worth doing. Um, is there a prefab? Prefab buildings. So I want machine parts, electronic, I guess machine parts for the beginning. Can I just buy all of this? Yes, I can. All right, so I got three prefab buildings, rover. Um, drone, do I want drones? No, not really, concrete metal, polymer, food, all of that stuff seems to be orbital probe. Reveals underground deposits of the scanned area. Um, sure, let's try that. I mean, why the hell not? You know what, I'm gonna try it. So I don't know how that will work, but we're gonna see. So we requested a rocket from Earth, um, and how, can I actually look when it's gonna come to me? Available rocket straight out of five. 
So where is... Oh, okay. Done without... <laughs> milestone achieved. We have an oxygen shortage. <laughs> That's a great milestone. <laughs> All right, wait. How is it insufficient oxygen? You said it consumes one. I have one, right? This is the oxygen production. We store 100 oxygen. Um, oh, it's not... Con can't. I'm an idiot, of course. It's not connected. All right. Uh, life support. Um, no, wait a second. Where's the oxygen? No, 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 no. That, that, that's not what I wanted at all. You just stay here. Yes. Um, wait a second. Where's the oxygen thing? Okay. So it's pipes, right? Okay. So we, had, <laughs> we just have to connect it. It's like, wait a second. I thought I connected everything. No, no. I forgot oxygen. Honest, live in residential buildings, the basic... Okay. Oh, so you build a dom and then inside of a dom you're gonna build the uh, things, right? The buildings for the colonists. That is pretty cool. Right, this cable is still malfunctioning. Five, like, why? No. Um, pin this to quick bar. Uh, can I just take... Did you, you didn't build everything here. So where's my transport? It's Explorer... He doesn't seem to transport anything. All right, so we got sector scanned. Okay, there we go. Is Dom now has oxygen? No, not yet. I need more drones. I think I need drones load low. Um, maintenance. How do I maintain things? Maintain? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, dismantle drone. Construct drone. Okay, so you, we need to do something about drone construction. I guess that's the main problem right now, right? So we need to figure out how to get the, how to build the drones ourselves. So we'll get Moxie upgrades. Um, that actually might be a nice way of doing it. So once the sensor towers are finished, we can build the Moxie upgrade. But what we actually want is drone construction. Uh, maximum drones increased. That's not interesting. And the problem is we don't know anything about the next researches there. So I assume. I assume that if we go for the drone robotics here, or maybe transport optimization. Um, right. Uh, wait a second. You know what? Here's the question. So we have this transporter, right? Can we put it into an automated mode? Create transport routes. Recharge. Salvage. No, I don't want to salvage it. And I don't even know how to produce them yet. Okay, okay, let's just start it for now. So how, where do I get the second rocket? When do I get the second rocket is, is more the question, I guess. So we can, I guess, schedule more scanning. Mm, okay, we got some more resources here. What is this? Is this concrete? What is this? This is underground metals. I guess those are the rare metals that you can extract, right? But we cannot really build there right now. I can't even build here right now. Like, how do I... I expand this thing somehow. So we got this infrastructure thing. We got the recharge, recharge drone batteries. Um, I don't know if I want that. Like, are my drones like out of batteries right now? Research, research. Eh? Okay, we're done with the research. Okay, so we now have actually surplus of power because the scanning towers no longer consume it. So let's see. Um, decommission protocol of clearing of salvaged and destroyed buildings. Still not useful. So I guess let's go for the transport optimization maybe because I just want to see what's next in this branch. Social field. I guess robotics is where you would have the drone construction, right? So let's go for that. Oh, wait a second. Curious, what is this outsource button? Also a thousand for 200 M in the next... F oh, okay. So you can basically buy a research essentially, right? Okay. Um, we definitely need more drones. Oh, and there's the rocket coming in. So I guess 76%. So it needs 15 more percent to come here. Right. Okay. So this is where I see it. Okay. Drone hub. Um, yeah. Idle, broken, workers. Yeah. So it has like four drones and that's it. That's not, not very efficient. Uh, how the hell do I... We scan the sector. Yeah, we need to finish building this thing. Yeah, we need to help first here, I guess. Getting this water running later will be fine. So 
Yes, you have to be in range of the dip, like the resource pile, right? Somewhere here, will you help like this? I'm Panna Maskelyne, and you're listening to Mars Official Radio, your reliable source for the music you love. Okay, here's our rocket. Oh, you have to actually land it. Shit, son. Okay. Ah. All right. Will it actually... Okay. You know what? I'm going to land it. Wait a second. So we can... Uh, no, no, wait a second. So let's zoom out. So I guess we can land it somewhere here and make a second base, right? Let's plop it right this way. It will have more drones and, and one more of those RC um, scouts or better. I forgot the name of it again. Rovers, yes. Okay, there's our rover. It should have some drones. Cool. Okay, good. Uh, so let's slow down the speed and let's... We have the prefabs for the factories here right now, right? So first of all, you can go... No, it's, it sounds a bad idea. Um, okay, this thing is slow as hell. Um, can be located by info interact. Okay, uh, recall, recall drones. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so you can control if the drones are on board or not. I see. Maybe we just plop it. Um, it's the question. Okay, I guess I just want to collect the drones and then move it all back to the base. There we go. Drones are now back. We'll just go here. We'll leave that rocket there for now. We got another underground deposit over there. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Okay, we got the anomaly. So you're just gonna stop here and expand your drones. Okay, um, where's the anomaly? Anomaly is over here. So we're gonna take our explorer and point him towards that anomaly and hope we're gonna get something good. Okay, so insufficient oxygen still. Why have you still not built these things? And this already requires maintenance. Change skin. There's the skins for that. So why? I guess I need to buy more drones, right? And seems like the only way to do that right now is to just buy them from the earth. Um, I'm just gonna buy like... Yeah, that's too much probably. I don't have to fit. Okay, I guess I'm gonna buy like 20. And while we're at it, I'm gonna buy another rover. I'm gonna buy... Two rovers, 25, 6, 30 drones. That sounds about right. And I'm gonna launch it. So we're gonna have some more drones a bit later. I'm gonna land the rocket somewhere here as well. So why don't you repair that stuff? How do I repair things? Request maintenance. Already requested. Uh huh. So you can explicitly request. This thing is still leaking power. Everything goes terribly wrong in this game. Okay. This thing is overloaded. So we need another dumping site here. Um, okay, I guess we can build like two of them because we're digging quite a lot. Our resources, so we are full on concrete. We don't actually spend it anywhere. So I guess we need, wait a second. So I guess we take the transport and we say, okay, go here, pick up concrete and uh, okay, trade routes. Lord resources. Uh, no, wait a second. Lord resources, concrete. Unload resources. Uh, I just drop them like there. Let's see if that works. I'm, I'm not sure. So basically, you have to set up the trade routes yourself. Breakthrough discovered. Oh, we got a breakthrough. Drone streamlining. Where is that? No, that's not it. Oh. Domes cost 50 less basic resources. Uh, that is very nice indeed, but we that's not our problem right now. Okay, we still have 20, only 30% over there. Where's our... Okay, this thing is just waiting here for concrete, I guess, right? We're missing concrete and machine parts. Okay. All right, so we got enough concrete there, I guess. So you can just get some, what was it? Machine parts, I think, right? Machine, yeah, so we need machine parts. Um, can you, can I, it doesn't have any machine parts here. There's like concrete polymers. Okay, where do I get machine parts? 
like this one for huh. Okay, I guess we have to figure out how to produce machine parts. Power so power is no longer our problem. All right, you know what? Let's wait until that finishes. So they should build at least something, but you still were lacking machine parts here. So where do we get? I mean, one way obviously would be to buy them from Earth, but that is way less than efficient. 66. So we got a bunch of drones, which is again, not our problem right now. I think I screwed that up. I think I might have screwed the whole playthrough up is, um, essentially yeah, because I just don't have enough. Oh, wait, this one actually can be built. Right, there's the RC rover, so just go here and build that thing. Metals, yeah, that should be fine. So I think concrete extractors. All right, is the dome still doesn't have it? Oh, right, because we're not building that and not doing, not maintaining that because we don't have enough things. Oh my god. Okay, um, all right, here's the thing. So I think inside of the dome, we can build those things, right? Yeah, okay, I see how that works. So, okay, playgrounds, schools, research labs, nurseries, space bar. Um, <laughs> it's a good name for it. Diner, open air gym, security station, grocery. Okay. Well, I think at this point, it's fair to say that we screwed this playthrough up because we don't really have enough. Oh, wait a second, you know what? We should actually skew that stuff, right? Okay, we have two more to research. Hi, cat, what's up? What are you doing? What are you doing, cat? What's going on? I think he wants me to pet him, uh, but yeah. So I think at this point we're pretty much screwed in this playthrough. So we can plop this rocket down somewhere here. But this has drones, so we're gonna have more building, uh, more drones to build things, right? But what we actually want is more advanced resources like metals. Let's try to buy them, I guess, like 50 metals, like some polymers as well. Maybe some machine parts. And okay, that's the, oh, okay. So the, there's the cargo. I guess you want to buy the full cargo capacity, right? Because otherwise you will be wasting the rockets essentially if you don't buy everything. Maybe some electronics as well. And okay, orbital probes are way more expensive. Food. Um, uh, prefabs, I don't think we need. Let's go for... Yeah, okay, let's do this. So we basically request resources from Earth and hope that it will be sufficient to start building the colony itself, actually, and repair all our falling apart. This thing is like... <laughs> it's it's half, half destroyed right now, essentially. It didn't even have any, like, meteor showers or anything. Okay, so we got a 2 billion of drones here and uh, we got some rovers. Can throw that in here, I guess. Sector scan. RC Explorer, so there's new sector scan, nothing found, which is a bit sad again. Rover 3, so... Wait a second, there should be more resources somewhere, right? Um, right, so we have some metal deposits here. I guess maybe I should start building the second base. Maybe that will actually help. So we got this uh, rover here. We can send it here. Got this rover here. Maybe we can send it there as well. And uh, this guy will power stay shortage. there. Wait, what? Power shortage? Because stuff blew up. Okay, I have like 2 billion drones here. How do I transfer them to other things? So I want you... So you only have four drones, right? So you come here and uh, no, this is transport. That's the wrong thing. Where's the RC Explorer? No, not Explorer, Rover, right? So there's this thing. How do I get more drones into it? Um, Go there, go, drone. Six drones, okay, so this is how you do it. Eight, okay, so there's now eight here, right? Okay, cool. And go here. Now we can take those drones. There's like, a, why can't you like drag select them? Do I really have to do it one by one? Um, can I just no? I can't say that all of those are now assigned here, which is a bit weird. 
Okay, okay. St I can build a statue. <laughs> Sounds like a nice... <laughs> nice final for this colony. Like, just build a dome and then plop a statue in there. Okay, oh, we researched something. Low G drive. Drones and rover move faster. How do I produce drones? This is what I'm interested in. Dome streamlining, extractor amplification, clearing salvaged and destroys building. Okay, you know what? Let's continue researching robotics. 1500. You know what? Let's try outsourcing it. Uh, yes. Okay, so I want those guys to go and dig the metal here, right? But to do that, I actually need to build the universal depot here. Maybe even two of those. It's kind of weird that they don't allow you to build them right next to each other and just like hexagons. Can you dig this stuff? Sector scanned. Okay, now they're digging. So what I actually want is... Um, to set up the trade route now, right? So I have the second base, so I can use my transporter, where it is, transport, to go here, pick up the metal, um, pick up the metals, and unload it over here. So hopefully that will be sufficient to fix all this stuff here. I mean, we are lacking not just metal, but also the... So this can be fixed with metals. This can be fixed with metals. Primarily metals, but also the electronics, I think. Is that electronics? There's machine parts. Okay, we got another rocket here. We got actually two. So you can plop it. This is going to have like a billion of rockets landed here without the way to go back home. That sounds quite dreadful, actually. <laughs> Okay, so now we'll have quite a lot of resources that should help us. Yeah, I know you have a power shortage. There's our transport coming in with more metal. So we should probably... I, I wonder if they're like recharge on their own. I guess they do. Okay, so while they're near the power grid, they will recharge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. power shortage and everything. So you just dig this metal here. And also metal doesn't seem so. Like, it's a bit hard to sometimes figure out which one of this is metals, which ones are not. So, I guess... Oh, there's actually a lot of metal here, so it's a, maybe a good idea. Carries, um... Why are, you, why are you showing this to me? Why is it blinking? Okay, you know what? I'm just, just gonna leave it right now, so... <gasps> okay, so now we're only lacking food before we can get in people. So, how do I get food now? Polymers, food deposits, we, I, I saw a thing, hydroponics farm, so it needs five power, three workers, all right, so how do I, where do I, requires a dome, so it's built inside of a dome, so we build the farm to get us food, this is Mars official radio with so we get and build living quarters, needs. and we are going to build... Like, I don't know what we, what else do we need in there? Space bar? Small guard? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with, like, living quarters and hydroponics for now. We need, what do we need in resource term? Polymers and metals? We have that. Concrete, we have that. So let's build that. And after that, we should be able to get some people in. Meanwhile, let us build the power, some power generators here. Um, we should be... What do we actually need for that? So we need metals. So they are okay with that. So you go build that thing. Prioritize that. And then we can build the metal extractor here. Too far from domes. Wait, what? How is that? Why do you need to be in dome? Uh, can it be there with dust? Ah. Huh. Okay, so it has to be built near dome, but it contaminates the dome with dust. That's interesting. Why are you blinking? Change priority. Um, launch. Oh, it's ready to take off. But why do we want to send it back? We don't really want to send it back, right? No, we don't want to send it back. I can salvage it, but that sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, I guess because I now have other rockets, I can send this one back. But uh, before that, we actually have to reassign all those tiny drones manually, which is slightly annoying. 
Um, okay, there we go. I guess we can live one, two drones, one drone. And come on here, little guy, just go here. I guess, yeah, let's just send it back. That means we could request another rocket from Earth, right? So, there we go. All right, so we actually can request a rocket with colonists now. Age group, uh, all traits, children, youth, adults. So we want adults, right? And we don't want anyone else. We want um, engineers, scientists, and maybe botanists, right? Because we want we want to build the core infrastructure. We don't want anyone else yet. Don't care about sex right now. We don't care about perks. There's some like crazy stuff going on around here. Flaws. Idiot chronic condition. <laughs> All right, this is great. Coward loader. Okay. Um, hey, T Blocks. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. All right. Uh, I wanted to request a rocket and I just canceled everything. Okay. So I guess quirks. There's also guru, tourist, vegan. <laughs> okay. This is great. You know what? Um, 38 matching colonists, 12 rocket capacity. Um, review. Oh, you can actually manually pick them. Um, so we, we actually mostly want botanists here, right? Maybe a couple of scientists too. Maybe a couple of engineers. So scientist, engineer, two more. One more botanist would be nice. And let's take one more scientist. 12, launch. What is this thing? Um, it is storage is full. Okay, so I guess let's plop down another storage thing. Why not? So yeah, where's where's the drones that move the stuff? Here over, go there. Oh, I'm paused. God damn it. Okay, okay. I think we are doing good. So the rockets, while taking off, didn't actually burn anything, which is a good thing. Only the ground. That's great. Got our tiny colony here ready to start working. I guess so. We need uh, three workers here. We can have fourteen residents. Can we build something else in there? So what nursery, living space for children. We definitely don't need that yet. Perks and children don't need that yet. Perks and children again don't need that. It generates research. So let's build a research lab. All right, uh, provides our northern fancy cocktails. Finest dishes, um, infirmary, visitor health and sanity, fitness, uh, luxury gambling, security station. Do we need security? Renegade. So there's like some renegade stuff going on around as well. Okay, I mean, we have the biologists for the farm. We have the scientists for the research lab. Um, art workshop, electronics store. Consumes electronics on each visit. No, that's not what we want. <laughs> We don't really want that. Fountain, small fountain. Guess we should build something for recreation, right? That sounds like a good idea. So uh, maybe space bars, fine. That thing is huge. And maybe infirmary would be a nice idea as well. So I think it should fit in here. There we go. We have a power cool. And we have a power shortage for whatever reason. Why? I guess we need more wind turbines. All right, let's plop another one over here. And another one over here. There we go. So where's our rocket with the colonists? This one is traveling back to Earth and this one is coming here. They have, oh, they also bring food with them. That's good. We're gonna have some food in the very beginning. They're not gonna starve to death because we don't have uh, the food chain set up essentially. Okay, those guys stop doing anything. You should come closer to this deposit and you should come closer to this deposit and start mining that. So this is actually full with metals. Oh, that's why they're not digging probably, right? So where's my tr uh, transport thing? Transport thing? Are you transporting anything? No, because this stuff is full as well. Uh, launch the... Uh, yeah, we did that. Malfunctioning cables again. 
God damn it. So unreliable. Okay, go here and fix that stuff. All right, this stuff is now built, so we're only missing colonists. And here come our colonists, I guess. Um, blob it down here. Vehicle battery low. Um, where? What? Oh, oh no! You go recharge. Hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. There we go, we got the first people to Mars. Uh, next 10 souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also great promises and opportunities. Okay, effect. Arrival of additional colonies temporarily suspended until the colony proves a bit, uh, able to sustain human life. Oh shit. So if you screw this up, you're basically game over. <laughs> All right. The colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event the first human is born on Mars. Aha. Uh -huh. Now here's the question, did I took any females uh, along with male guys because I didn't look at their genders when picking the candidates? Nice. That might be a mild problem. <laughs> All right, so we got the guys here. Are they coming? So they're now, they auto-populated this stuff, okay. All right, all right. Research. Research complete. Okay, we got the research complete, uh, so we should... So we got nine souls, 21 hours, that's nice. Uh, let's pick another research. 100 soul per each RC Explorer vehicle. Okay, we got that before. So that was what we had the first one the last time before the game crashed. I guess we need to research the cheaper domes because this is literally the only way we can expand the colony, right? Let's do that. Okay, so we got people living here. 12 people. Two more free spots. Uh, they all seem to be working. Um, do they want anything? So yes, but I know that research is complete. I know that the colonists are here. All right, we scan sector, got some more resources. We probably should schedule more scanning, maybe here. There we go. There's surprisingly little resources around us. So is, is that basically game expects you to expand via building uh, separate bases and like setting up trade routes because it seems like this is the way to go freedom of speech when democracy finally came other forces took control over the broadcasting channels I fled to okay okay so the metal extractor requires colonists to work in there and that means you need to have a dome next to it can you can you connect domes somehow? Like you have a domes, right? I imagine I could research more domes, but is there a way between domes? So there's like fountains and statues, storages, life support. Doesn't seem like there's any way to connect domes right now. So what I would want, I want to build the another dome right here and then connect them so that they can travel like railway or whatever, right? Okay, founder stage, yeah, 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 whatever. So you guys, how are you guys doing here? Seems to be doing good, right? So we to look at their status or something. Um, okay, average comfort, 43. So what I, can I do to increase the comfort? I guess I can build more, maybe a diner. Did we build a diner? No, we didn't. So let's build a diner, maybe. Maybe build a... Uh, Grocer, sure, why not? And maybe build an art workshop. Luxury, we don't, we can't really afford luxury right now. Um, open air gym, okay, that thing is huge, but let's build it anyway. Casino combat, I don't want casino right now. Uh, security station, maybe that's a good idea to have actually. Okay, let's blow up a security station as well. All right, now let's see if we can make it in nine souls and then, you know, if we can make it, then I guess that would be a good spot to stop the stream. If we cannot make it that well, um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so we don't really transport any more metals because this is now full. So maybe you can, um, it's like, seems like true, tr seems like trade route is specifically tied to one of those depots, which is, not exactly efficient, I say. So you have to mic. It, it like it seems like you would have to micromanage that every time. Nerd, sexy, religious party. We have, we have two party animals on Mars. Oh no. Okay. 
I can see some silly things happening in this game. Um, radio, main menu. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have a map overview. Yeah, so we have still scanning going on. Sector scan. Oh, we found anomaly. Nice. Okay, where's my explorer? There we go. Go explore this thing. Come on. Battery low. Uh, which we... Oh, no, 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 no. You go back and recharge. God damn it. You would freaking die in there. There we go. Okay. How are your batteries? So this looks fine. This looks fine. This looks fine. Okay. So you recharge and then you go research that anomaly. Three buildings not working. Why are you not working? Because you are storage full. Storage full on concrete. So we need, I guess, separate concrete uh, stockpiles, depots. Okay. So I guess let's plop like a couple of them. I can almost imagine people with like, you know, who want everything to be aligned perfectly, just go nuts about this. Cause I don't think you can align those perfectly. <laughs> I have more than a few friends who would be like, no, I just want to place it next to each other. Okay. Um, right. Let's see. So where's my Explorer? Okay. It's charged now. So we can send it to go analyze this thing. So I was colonists looking here. So the comfort couldn't satisfy their interest luxury. Okay, so we need to build the luxury thing, which is we got art workshop. I think that's the only one we have right now, right? Oh, we have casino as well. So let's go for art workshop. There's also electronics store, but it consumes electronics on each visit, which is not something we can afford right now. There is not enough people for everything. They seem to rebalance on their own, but uh, okay, uh huh. So we basically hit the point when there's not enough people working. Can I just disable the shift? There we go. Maybe I can disable the shifts. I mean, so basically we don't need that many shifts in a bar, right? We can just move a person. We've collected valuable geographic data. At the side uh huh. Analysis of the crust yielded rare insights on the geological history of Mars, especially about the ancient Thaikian Jesus Christ period, in which volcanic activity released immense amounts of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay, um, scientific community praised the findings. Um, our sponsor committed additional funds. Okay, so we can either get 200 million funding. Two drone, drone, bleh, two drone hub prefabs or four moisture evaporator free. You know what? I'm going to go for drone hubs because this is what we're needing mostly. So um, can I... I just paused the shift. So where, where did that person go? We don't need that many people working at diner either. Um, this now don't have power, which is not very good. We don't need that working that much as well. So maybe, maybe diner could 11 people okay no that's fine so we need more power again why do we what's bleeding the power is there like cables requiring maintenance or something no it doesn't really seem so it's just just looks like we need more power okay we actually got the water production running here which is great so okay let me think Normally analyze. So where's our explorer? You go back and recharge. Um, yeah, yeah, I know that it's been analyzed. Uh, let, yeah, so this stuff is scanning. All right, all right, we're doing good so far. I mean, it's like we are seven souls out. We are on an okay-ish stats. We're still good on food. We do produce enough food, right? So it produces optimal harvest is 10, but we're harvesting seven, which is absolutely fine. And how much do we consume actually? Is there information about this? So we got 14 colonists and the water surplus research polymers. Where's the food information? Uh, garden sparks well, require no workforce. Suggested build a garden. Okay, let's build a garden. Why not? have a garden and uh, maybe have a small alley. Oh, I can actually plop that in between the buildings, right? 
Not those, but like right here. Sure, let's do that. Okay, we scan the sector, nothing found, no resources, that's disappointing. We now have a power shortage, but the, we have the... Uh, I plot the battery somewhere, right? So this still has 80 in stored power, which should be sufficient for the night, maybe. We have a surplus of power during the day, so maybe it makes sense to plop another battery in. There we go. Um, it does require polymers though, so it's it's a bit a bit dangerous. Or I guess not dangerous, but a bit like yeah, I have to be careful about that. Do we need more power? Okay, so we have our tiny dome, and it seems to be living for now. Oh, here we go. We have 106 foot, but um, foot consumption two, foot production zero. Well, zero is lies because we actually do produce food, but it's not yet finished, right? So four souls will produce six food, which is, yeah, that's not very good. This is Mars official radio with hmm. Tenant Stay tuned. Okay. Take a break and just so I was there refueling. Like, like, how do I take all those drones and then assign them to this hub? Not like this, apparently. Is there a way to do that? Shift click, no. Um, drone hub. Um, uh, yeah, all those tiny drones. Drones are automated workers. Yes, I know that they are automated workers. How do I assign all of them to a different place? Rename, change skin. Wait, you didn't change skin. Let's try changing skin, you know, while we're doing silly things. Oh. Oh, you can recolor them. Okay. What? What just happened? When life gives you lemons. After all, purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Even by founder's arms. Da, da, da. Once you curse and pray loves. The founder has an enthusiast trait. Okay. So uh, what does it actually give me? So he just gained the tra uh, trait. Increased performance boost when at high morale. Okay. Research. Research. Eh? Wait, 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 we need research. So we completed the dome. So domes are now way cheaper. I guess let's go for the Explorer AI, right? Uh, I guess we can outsource again. We don't really have 2000. Wait, I mean, we do have, but that's too much, maybe? Maybe I should spend those money more because I have literally zero use of them on Mars, right? So I probably should just spend that. And increase the speed for my research and actually gain something good. Because, I mean, we have like five souls to go. God damn it, those bloody cables are always at fault. So, can you fix that, drones, please? We are... And we're okay on the battery power, I guess. We really need to figure out how to produce polymers and... Um, yeah, polymers and build our drones ourselves because this is kind of crucial right now. I still have no idea how to do that. All right, uh, I guess we can just schedule this scans. Um, like this. Yeah. So you guys are literally doing nothing over here and I can't really build anything. I guess since they're kind of hibernating, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, you're just gonna keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, 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 I've seen that the research is now done. Research breakthrough is now done. There's this milestone things. Uh, first Martian born. Um, that's just like, we. I guess we have to just wait for that. Revelation scandal sectors. 100, 500,000 colonists constructed a mega dome, constructed a wonder. That sounds very civilization-like. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess... So that means that if they give birth to a kid here, we would need a nursery, I guess, and then schools and then everything else. Oh my god, okay, that gets complicated all of a sudden. Why don't we have enough power here? Alright, I guess we should build more... The wind turbines? Or maybe let's... You know what? Let's build this generator thing. I have like two prefabs for that, right? No active research. Research complete. All right, we got the research complete. Uh, drone hub. So isn't that what we already have? 
Oh, okay, so that that allows us to build hub ourselves. Okay, cool. So I guess that's gonna be the first step for... Is that thing connected to the grids? Seems like it is. So now we're producing quite a lot of power. It seems to be storing a lot more. Nice. Yeah, okay. We're good. Okay, we can actually launch this rocket back. I guess it makes sense to do that. So you just go ahead and fly back. You're listening to Mars official I, it's such a pretty game. Like I give it that. It's it's even though you know the the paradox never really stood out for its graphics, but this game is something else. This is like really really cool. Okay, can we send those back? Um, but I'm really, it's a bit annoying that I cannot just take all of those drones and give the command to a different automated mode. Uh, is that because it's an automated mode? Activate, no, okay. So, I know I can manually take this drone and say, you know, work there, but that is, doing that with all of them is kind of crazy. Um, But I guess, is that the way that it's supposed? Supposed to be working and pinned encyclopedia rename drone commanded by okay so hmm I mean we can salvage this rocket but that means we'll have one less rocket which is <laughs> probably not what we want idle extractors okay so I guess it doesn't have any more stuff to extract no it does why no deposits. Okay, so it is empty now, which means we can blow it up, right? Okay, no resources in that sector. And we got a research. All right. Drone battery capacity increased. Yes. Can I please figure out how to build my own drones? CO2 jet propulsions. Shuttle hub. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to work towards that. Um, yeah, yeah, come on. So we can schedule another scan maybe here and maybe here. And get more anomalies, please. I just want to speed up my research really, really bad. Okay, um, let me try to continue. What is this? Reassign. How can I reassign all of them? Is that even a thing? Can I just like click all of them? No. Drag select? No. Okay, let me, let me just have a quick look at the controls because assigning them one by one doesn't seem to be a very efficient way of doing things. Units, menu, no. Key bindings. Um, one, 14 pages of key bindings. Okay, that's impressive. Next dome, next rover. Reassign, uh, perform analysis. Hey, you can literally bind everything to the keyboard, which is great, but that doesn't help me with a drone's reassignment. I wonder if I start this rocket, will the drone stay here or will they just go with the rocket? Because if, if they will live back to Earth, I will be very disappointed. Oh, you can actually control the surface area. That's very interesting. Okay, I have not noticed that before. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we need some maintenance here. Okay, request the maintenance on this thing. All right, so how are people doing? So the average comfort, no gambling. So people want gambling, okay. Let's plop the, where's the casino complex? This thing is huge. How, okay, I have to build another dome for that. All right, let's build another dome. Why not? Um, how do I connect it? Uh, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit because of that pipe. Okay, um, can I move it? Doesn't seem so. Okay, we got a rocket that we can launch. Okay, let's try. You know, I'm really curious if all those drones will stay or if they will just live with the rocket. Said leave. Take off in progress. Oh no, okay, those, they stay. Okay, thank God. So you don't have to micromanage that. <laughs> all right, that, that is very good. Um, how do I break those pipes? So, we got the pipe, so if I lead it like this, no active research. how do I complete. destroy that? Can I even destroy that? I should be able to destroy that, right, somehow. 
hourly um oh, wait a second research so battery optimizations we completed that drone assembler there we go finally this is exactly what we needed in our life and now we should build the dome um how can i i know this is blocking how can i delete this thing can i tell a drone to deconstruct that perform maintenance move salvage no destroy i don't want to destroy the drone i want to destroy this thing or are you like permanently screwed up if you build a pipe then how it works is that seems suboptimal because i don't think i can extend this dome oh maybe i wait a second can i extend from this side no i can't because this is not an entrance right this is like a pipe connection how do i delete this stupid pipe Okay, we can start no we can start okay it's traveling to earth so we should be able to produce drones and after that it's probably a good idea to start working towards okay how do i plop you in here blocking object yes i want to delete this blocking object can i no objects underneath are blocking the construction Right, I guess we can wait a bit until this rocket goes away and then plop it there. So it's like almost ready. They are not happy about not having gambling, but uh, they can wait. Luxury, no available service building. What? But you, there is luxury thing here, right? Okay. Scanned. Okay, sector scan, nothing found. Perfect. Uh, so let's schedule this, I guess, for scanning. It's actually a pretty tiny map, uh, or I guess not as big, so I guess scanning won't take too long. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we have two more souls until we pass or not pass the evaluation here. Wait to dismiss that? No, doesn't seem so. Okay, rocket, are you ready to leave yet? No. How do I... See, you can also export things to Earth. How do you do that? Can I, like, sell metals or something? Where's my transporter? Here it is. So you can actually, we have a lot of concrete here. So maybe I gather concrete. No active research. Okay, we got the drone printing. Machine parts factory. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. All right, so we got the concrete. Let's try throwing it into that rocket. Can you throw it in there? No, not food. What? Order transport. No. Can you offload the... You have food inside? Hey, you have food inside. How do you have food inside? Um, Can you offload stuff? No, it, 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 wait, wait, where did you go? God damn it. No. Explorer transporter. There you go. Okay. Um, Unload resources here. Concrete. Okay. So now the rocket should have concrete inside it. No, did it just unload it on the ground? The first colonists are all gamblers coming to Mars. This is my it's the ultimate radio. roll of the dice. I'm Miss Eskelin. It is time for another letter. Okay. Wait, Tony. does it really show you every time the colonist gains a trait? It's kind of crazy. Okay. Our I don't know why you threw it down on the our ground, but that's not efficient, so let's get it back. <laughs> Sufficient academic level to start their lives as back. productive citizens by age 20. Um, so this rocket is ready to leave. I guess let's just send it back. But I doubt that children can absorb abstract information any earlier than they already do today. Instead, I suggest we exclude subjects that don't apply to life on Mars, like domestic science, art, and handicrafts. Okay? Right. This thing is done with the resources, so we can demolish it as well. 
we should really think what oh okay because i don't have the this perk that allows you to clean the space of the old buildings even though i demolished it and salvaged the resources the crap is still here and i cannot do anything with it i see how that works i guess this is also why i cannot destroy the pipes so you have to be very careful with where you're building ah okay drone with no controller um uh, can you like go to the hub? Control and build automatically. Yeah, I know that they are controlled by the hub, whatever. But does it mean I manually have to do that for reals? This is gonna take ages. Two years later, I finally reassigned all the drones. Uh, which vehicle? Okay, you go and charge. Okay, let us keep reassigning the tiny drones over there. This is slightly annoying. I would prefer not to do that or to do that in a batch and just say, hey, all of those drones are now working for this hub. But uh, maybe they'll patch it in later. I mean, Paradox is known for, you know, Oh, wow, okay, so actually, we actually got a Mars-born person here, okay. I guess that means we have to build a nursery here. Let's do that. Um, we also need to now build playground school and all that stuff. And I guess we passed the uh, evaluation, right? Or I guess we will pass. Alright, we got the 3D machining done, which allows us to produce machine parts, which is great. RC rover no longer needs recharging. Holy shit, okay, I'll take that. And we got a shuttle hub, long range transportation of resources. Okay, so we can actually have shuttles to transport stuff between the depots. But we also need to produce the um, other resources, right? You know what, let's first get this stuff and then um, then we can think about the other stuff. So is that rocket ready to leave yet? Get the sector scan, let's zoom out and assign more scanning here. There we go. I should start building the other base here, right? So we got this thing. I need to build a dome here, I guess, first. Um, that's the problem. I cannot just build a dome because I need water for it and there's no water around here. This is a pain in ass. Okay, and this is the rare metals. I guess this is what you export to Earth, right? You know what? I'm gonna take those rovers and put them up here. Charge them from the power grid because they don't really do anything uh, back there anyway. I feel like I'm not really doing a good job in managing this colony, but uh, yeah. So, come on, rockets. I know you want to leave five five more fuel and you're ready. Just decrease the area a bit, maybe. Okay. This thing is almost done with the resources as well, it seems. You have to move it. Is there a way to change the layout for it? Okay, it doesn't seem so. It's probably a good idea to research the... Um, where was it? Yeah, with this one, the commission protocol, right? Clearing and salvaging, uh, like destroyed and salvaged build uh, buildings. That would be good. Okay, but uh, maybe that's a good spot to stop. I mean, this is really entertaining, and uh, I can see spending a lot of time figuring out how to do that properly instead of just screwing up and, you know doing a terrible colony that well somehow lives and even produces human lives but is a bit terrible yeah so let me just uh, save the game here and uh, yes let's save the new game thank you very much now i'm just gonna go to the main menu so this was surviving mars uh brought to you by gog.com thanks to them for this copy that i could uh, basically play earlier you can grab it on March the 15th, or it actually releases on March the 15th. You can pre-order it right now if you want so. 
it's a paradox game, so it's probably going to be really good and have a long support uh, timeline. So, you know, it's a really good game. Yeah, I um, guess it's a good spot to stop it. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye.